welcome here, son, nephew, young man. Let me holla at you. All right, so yesterday I made a video, part one, and what I planned to be a series of three about communication. For effective communication to take place, there must be a sender, a channel, and a receiver. Anything else added to the equation between the sender and receiver that complicates the message is what you call interference. A lot of time as a receptor of a message, which we need to, I think all of America needs to get better at. Cause see, we have a choice with all these apps and, and all this different type of uh, media. You can choose what you want to listen to. So <laughs> here we go again. Sorry, bless me. Um, if there's something you don't want to hear, you can turn it off. But what if you need to hear it? And herein lies the problem of the information cycle in America. So my advice to you, if you're a young person who has not mastered the art of communication, <coughs> bless me. You need to learn to listen and take your emotions out of the equation and you need to learn to listen regardless of timing. Sometimes people may say things that hurt your feelings <laughs> or say things you just don't want to hear. I get that a lot at the school. Man, don't talk to me, man. I don't want to talk to you. Now, those are deep-seated issues. Those are daddy issues, basically, a lot of the time. Not all the time. But you have a lot of young people with a problem with male authority because of how they were raised. And that's something I would probably have to get, get into in my inbox because most people on the Internet aren't ready for the actual cause. Or if I do a Patreon one day where I know I have very serious people who are willing to support the channel in mass we might talk about that then email me if you want to know why motivation equation at gmail.com or you can inbox me on tiktok anyway those people aren't ready to hear any type of message from a man that's another thing you got these uh red pill dudes who they say they don't but they borderline hate women you got feminists whether they know they're feminists or not who borderline hate men. People hate folks because of their skin color. Whatever. My parents taught me to get information. <clears throat> if you stop being judgmental and closed-minded, even a bum on the street can teach you something. Now, there are exceptions. <laughs> no, well, okay. I was going to say, yeah, if somebody's drunk or intoxicated, don't listen. But you know what? That's when people are most honest. Now, can you sit there and pick through the rest of it? Do you have the tolerance for it? Do you have the time for it? <clears throat> I suppose that is an X factor. But you can gain something from a conversation. Now, I wouldn't take too long with it. <laughs> but when you have someone in front of you who you know has good information and a good knowledge base. And granted, so many people nowadays don't even, <coughs> excuse me, don't even understand who has valid information or not. That's how you see so many people get scammed. You know, resumes and credibility matter. I need to make a video about that because in this whole, I don't want to work economy and time in history, People want to discredit people who actually are worthy of credit, worthy of respect, and worthy of giving out information. <laughs> if you listen with the story in your head that I don't want to hear what this person has to say, or I don't care what this person has accomplished, 
it doesn't matter or right now I don't want to talk and I don't want to listen. I think your best bet in that case, by the way, as a side note would be to say, can I get this information from you later? Because <laughs> sometimes, especially if you're in a leadership position, see everybody wants to lead, but does everybody know how to be a leader? Because you don't get to pick your chances and your times to get information if you got to lead other people. You got to put, you talk about putting your emotions aside. <coughs> if you're a person who is always moody and having mood swings and bipolar and uh, untimely messages bother you, don't be a leader. Because everybody's bringing their problems to you and expecting an answer and a solution. That's another video for another day. Also, shut your emotions down. Stop. Listen. Focus. Ask the main questions. Who, what. <coughs> Excuse me. Who, what, when, where, why. And um, <clears throat> get valid information while you can, especially when somebody's when somebody doesn't have to be doing that because you don't know when you're going to get that chance again. If somebody's trying to mentor you or someone is trying to help you solve a problem or prevent a problem, it's in your best interest to listen. And once you shut off a good source of information, just because you didn't feel like listening or keyword feel, <laughs> that free source of information may choose to shut itself off from you. Don't learn that lesson the hard way and don't learn that lesson too late in life. Hit the like button. If you like the content, hit the dislike button. If you don't leave me a comment and tell me why you chose either way. <laughs> leave comments for other young men who can use the information. Share this content because I guarantee you there's somebody who can use it. I make useful content on purpose and as always, Never lose the will to win. Never lose the will to survive.